Hey everyone, my name is Drew, and we are here. This is going to be week number two of the UBL, and we are up against Ultra Player and his West Virginia Minions. This is going to be an incredibly scary matchup because he's a very strong player. Not only that, I feel this is a very awkward matchup. I feel like I have a pretty distinct matchup advantage, but I know that that's going to free him up to kind of do a lot of creative stuff against me. And Josh is really good at pretty creative stuff, so he could honestly come out with something crazy and i'm gonna have to build pretty darn uh conventionally i think i'm kind of forced into that box and he's going to be able to do a lot of really creative interesting stuff and i'm just gonna have to hope that i have the tools to be able to deal with him and obviously this is coming off of a pretty rough week one where we did win on timer um we are the only one who won with a negative differential and i saw his match his week one match he has a very very scary uh, dragon dancing mew i think it's going to be a set that he wants to bring against me this time um i can only try to have the, the right answers to it i really did want to bring something like a like an unaware quagsire um but synchronize would have made it awkward to kind of try and toxic it and wear it down with with unaware he does have some very fast threats his fast options are the jolteon as well as the inteleon and again i really did want to bring like a, something like a water absorb quagsire maybe for that but uh what i ultimately decided on was silvali dragon because it can kind of deal with both of those stabs and it is really especially defensive to kind of switch in on those and then go for uh, a parting shot and try to get momentum on my side because they are so fast it, it is going to be difficult for him to kind of get momentum going in that sense um, um, and they don't have the best coverage at all. They can't have any power. So hopefully I'm going to be able to deal with that decently well. But as of right now, I'm just kind of waiting for us to get connected. Yeah, this spent way too long. But uh, Josh and I went back and forth quite a bit. Okay, we are here. And uh, we can see the Mew, Mimikyu, Mandibuzz, Serena, Jolteon, and uh, Rhydon. Okay, so right off the bat, no Copperaja, no Inteleon. Those feel pretty huge. No Pissimian, which is fine. No Garboder is really interesting to me. No Garboder is really interesting to me. So, okay, what do we do here? What do we do here? A lot of what I knew was going to come. A lot of what I knew was going to come. No Inteleon is really interesting to me. Um, I want to say... I want to say that I just lead off with... The part of me really wants to lead off with Cinderace here, right? I would be moderately afraid of a right on lead. Um, I could definitely lead off with Silvalli. I could see that. Although I do think Duraludon lead makes sense to me. I'm going to go for it. Uh, I do have pretty much the same Duraludon set as last week. Um, yeah, um, I just feel like it works, and he did bring the Rhydon. I'm too afraid of what he can do. Also, I do kind of believe that Rhydon, or sorry, uh, Duraludon is kind of the most expendable on here. I don't entirely see it being the most stressful to deal with, but obviously, again, famous last words, but... I am really curious to see what we do here. I'm really curious to see this lead. I'm really curious to see this lead. And... Uh, this is really kind of laggy here. I have no idea what that is. That is the Mandibuzz. Okay, we have the Thunderbolt for this thing. I'm, I wonder if he expected me to lead off anything in particular. I wonder if he expects me to lead off anything in particular. Maybe, maybe the Orb Beetle just for webs or something? I'm not too, too sure. Not too, too sure. Although, I can just click Thunderbolt here. It feels really solid to me here. I'm going to do that. I'm going to try not to waste too, too much time, too. But, yeah, I, I, I kind of feel okay with Duraludon being here. Although, he has a lot of things that he can switch into. And I should have taken a screenshot of the team. I'm going to have to do that in between turns, which is going to kind of suck for this whole timer situation. But, uh, I, whatever. I, I don't think it's going to be the end of the world here. I don't think it's going to be the end of the world here. Um, nothing. Just go for the knockoff. So we'll knock off my power herb, which is going to be its own thing. I think it's going to be fine. So two consecutive weeks where my... Uh, Duraludon just doesn't really... Oh, this thing is faster than me. That's super interesting. Why is this thing so fast? Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go to... Oh, wait. Can I not see his team from the screen? I might not be able to see... 
Oh, here we go. Okay. Yeah, this thing is faster than me. So I think for this turn, I would want to... Flash Cannon here to try to catch something in on the switch here. Actually, I really want to get up rocks. I'm going to get up rocks. I think that would be the better... Although, it does go for the roost. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. This thing being faster is really unfortunate now. Um, and I know I don't have any speed, but this thing has to have a pretty decent amount of speed, I think. Just to be able to deal with me here. Um... So let me see here. I can I can collect flash cannon. I am afraid of certain things coming in. Although flash cannon deals with most of them. Yeah, I think I think just collecting flash cannon would be ideal here. I do think collecting flash cannon would be ideal here. Um Yeah, I mean thankfully I didn't try to make the super bold play and go for solar beam turn one, but um yeah, I guess I just am not cut out to get get off these power plays. I did really want to bring like a max speed Duraludon to this match, but um, I do have a really bulky Duraludon, and I don't think foul play is going to do a whole heck of a lot to me, and I think he's thinking about what he wants to switch into here, which does, which does put my Flash Cannon in a really good spot here. I don't think there's anything that I really have to worry about, so no U-turn as well. And that's reasonably notable. And uh, this thing comes in. I don't think I have to worry about this thing a whole heck of a lot. Flash Cannon will do a decent amount. Um, but won't get any Volt Absorb or anything like that. I do feel like I have to switch out here. Um, I can just go into, again, the dedicated kind of switch in here. Uh, this thing could definitely Volt Switch, which would be really unfortunate. Um, I kind of don't have any answers to Volt Switch, despite having, like, two ground types on my team, but, on my, uh, overall team. But, uh, yeah, Volt Switch is just reasonably free here. Although, um, this thing can also just parting shot in and out, so, I guess I'm not the most worried in the world. Let's go for the Shadow Ball, okay. I'm not too, too sure what, what he was expecting me to do there. But, um, that does more than I would have thought. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to parting shot out. There's no reason to do anything else, I don't think. I'm going to try. I'm going to attempt to see what kind of... Let's see if I can tell anything from that Jolteon. This Jolteon could be a lot of things. With Shadow Ball. Yeah, according to this, Shadow Ball is... Oh, this is... This is modest, for sure. If it did as much as this suggests... This feels modest, for sure. Um... Will just allow me to parting shot out here. But into what? Um, I'm trying to think. Part of me really wants to start going in with my Orbeetle. Part of me really wants to go in with my Orbeetle. Let me see. What if it's a really defensive Mandibuzz? What if it's a really defensive Mandibuzz? Um, okay. I do have to weaken this thing somewhat. I'm gonna... I'm gonna try to... I'm gonna go for something here. I'm gonna try for something here. Uh, and I'm gonna try to keep on... Keep uh, an eye on the timer, uh, right now. Oh yeah, I have almost a minute on him. But I think whatever happens here... Yeah, I, I, I definitely think... I, I could imagine him going directly back into the Jolteon again. And in which case, uh, doing this into a Hex is probably the ult the uh, optimal play that I can make here. Um, he's really thinking about his turns quite a bit. I do, again, have just about a minute on him already. So, right off the bat, what I'm thinking is... Does withdraw. That's fair. That's fair. You see the Jolteon. I believe that is the Jolteon? Yeah, it is. Okay. 
And now that puts me in a position where uh, he'll be taking a little bit of residual damage. I don't think I have to worry too too much about um, about quick feed or anything like that. I'm almost positive this thing would be uh, Volt Absorb. Which does mean... I think I can just click Hex here. I'm going to do it. I'm going to just click Hex here. It does cover the Baton Pass, which is really interesting. Um, maybe he's too afraid to bring Volt Switch, but uh, yeah, I don't have any Volt Switch stoppers on this on this roster. But if it was enough to not bring Volt Switch in prep, then that's a huge, huge win for me um, in the longer scheme of things. Um, does bring out the Serena. So another thing that I can potentially burn here, which is interesting... But this Hex will do uh, next to nothing. I'm not too, too sure what... He probably wants to go for a U-turn, right? And if he does go for the U-turn, then the U-turn would definitely... Um, the U-turn would definitely be into the Jolteon again. Either... I mean, either a Volt Switch or a Willowist. That would pretty much hard stop me. But I do... I don't know. I feel like it's worth going for anyway. Yeah, okay. That's fair enough. Um, I am super defensive. I take that um, better than I expected to. But, I can't imagine anything but the Jolteon coming out here. I am slowly wearing him down with rocks. And, I think limiting his switching options by doing this is ultimately better than anything else I could have been doing. So, I think, ultimately, this turn is, is, is somewhat of a win. Yeah, yeah, that's to be expected. Which is totally fair. But now, does he do that again? Does he do that, that entire interaction again? He knows that I am inclined to Hex right now. He knows that I'm very inclined to Hex right now. And... He has a decent amount of options to, available to him. I really, really want to click Volt Switch, but if he stays in, then that would be pretty bad for me. Although I can't imagine him doing anything to me, really. I'm gonna... I'm gonna feel so dumb if the... Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try to make a really bold... Man player. Ugh, okay. If I had done that last time, yeah, okay. That does way more than I would have expected. That does way more than I would have expected. But you know what? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. This thing is still a really solid answer to the Serena. Well, not, not necessarily, but it's a really solid answer to the uh, Rhydon more than anything. Um, and still a moderate answer to the, to the Mimikyu, and I still need it to put pressure on the Mandibuzz as well. So from here, um, he's just gonna probably Shadow Ball again. I think if anything, going into, into this thing is, no, I think, I think from the, from the modest damage that it has been putting out, um, what is, what is it thing called? Jolteon. I think based off of the modest damage that it has been putting out, I think I don't want to take two from Cinderace. Yeah, it that would put me in a really bad spot, I think. So I think what I want to do is just go into this thing one more time. Uh, I, I would be really, I'd be really curious if this thing is some kind of specs damage or something like that, but I don't think this thing is choice. I think ultimately, yeah, I don't think it'll be choice. In the end. Uh, the special defense drop is super unfortunate. But now... I think I want to get some damage in. And I really want to just click multi-attack here. The only the only thing would be, obviously, if he goes into the Mimikyu. But he has to respect parting shot too much, I think. I'm going to click multi-attack here. I'm going to do it. Let's go for another Shadow Ball. But if this nets me a KO, then I think it's going to be more than worth it in the in the end. It does, okay. That's reasonably huge, right? That's going to be reasonably huge, because now he shouldn't have anything that's naturally faster than my Cinderace. And it frees up my Cinderace a whole heck of a lot, right? Which is going to be huge. But... More importantly, it kind of frees up my Rotom to put some pressure onto the Mandibuzz. Um, 
which is also really huge, in all honesty. He has a lot of things that are slower than my Rotom, and it can Volt Switch in and out. I do have to keep in mind that... Actually, I do have to keep in mind that... A lot of his mods are going to be faster than my Rotom. Like the Mandibuzz, which is... Which, because it's faster than my Duraludon, is almost definitely going to be faster than my... Than my... Uh... Okay, thankfully he just goes for the Shadow Claw. I was really afraid that he just goes for the Swords Dance, but he had to respect the Parting Shot a little bit. Um, That's fair, okay. So now, now what do I do? Now I really... Now I really... Uh, do I pull this button yet? I think I might have to. What I should do is U-turn to break the Disguise. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is a bandit cinder ace with an which with enough speed to KO this thing. I could sack off the Rotom here. I don't think it would. I honestly don't think it's the worst thing in the world if I do sack off the Rotom here. It does withdraw, so something is going to catch a bandit U turn. Uh, this thing could be Rocky Helmet, which would be uh, unfortunate. But, no, it's it's almost definitely going to be Eevee Light. Yeah. Um, but what I'm curious about now... Is if... Is if, um... Actually, it allows in my Dracovish for free. Having my Dracovish opened, it, opened up in this way... Could be huge... Um, I really do want to get aggressive with Dracovish here. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I think my game plan has to be to be aggressive with Dracovish because um, Dracovish is really what gives me such a strong matchup here. And this is a Scarf Dracovish. It has enough speed out, speed, um, anything on his team. I believe I have enough for... Uh, unless it's a Scarf Mimikyu, which would be, uh, unfortunate, but I believe it has enough speed for, for even a Scarf Serena. Um, and with all this chip damage, I think this should be a two-hit KO by every indication. Yeah, that is absolutely a two-hit KO. And, uh, I am Scarf, so even if he's a Scarf Serena, which he could be, I, I believe he's only gone for a U-turn, um, this will be a KO here. Um, I think, I think a, I think the only things that could outspeed me all would be a Scarfed, a Scarf Mimikyu at this point. Scarf Mew or Mimikyu would be the only things that could possibly outspeed me because, uh, the Rhydon, um, well, the Rhydon couldn't outspeed me if it was Scarfed. Um, Mana Buzz has already switched up moves. Serena, um, I, 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 I outspeed Scarf Serena and, and, uh, Jolteon's already off the board, so... Again, the only things that could handle me would be the Mimikyu or the Mew. Um, but the fact that he's already... And honestly, I do have decent physical bulk, just naturally, so I maybe could take a Play Rough. Goes into Mandibuzz here. Goes into Mandibuzz here. That's interesting. Because I really just want to fish his friend here. He knows that I'm Scarfed, so it, we could hit. I'm going to do it. I'm going to try to get this damage off. I'm going to try to get this damage off. Because, yeah, that is some huge damage. It does knock me off. Okay. Okay. And now he's going to be able to... Now he's going to be able to... Uh... Yeah, that was not the best play on my part. Um... But I, mm, I don't know. Now he's going to be able to roost up. But I can Volt Switch for reasonably free. Which honestly just makes me want to click Will O Wisp here. Because uh, the Rhydon coming in is a very distinct possibility. The Rhydon coming in is a very distinct possibility. 
I'm gonna do it. I'm I'm staying barely ahead on time, which is important for now. But um, yeah, I just really need to keep it that way. I'm surprised this match has already been taking as long as it has been. But I don't think I don't think that I've been. What is this? I don't remember. Yeah, okay. The right on does come in. I honestly would not feel bad at all with going for a Leaf Storm here. Uh, he could be beating in the Leaf Storm, which would be uh, pretty not great for me in all, when it's all said and done. But uh, I am also getting healthier. I honestly really want to play Volt Switch, but I don't think there's any downside only because I can... Uh, yeah, I can reasonably play, play around this. If he does want to switch around some more, then I can... If he doesn't want to s switch around more, then I can, um, just gain health, gain more health over time. Uh, yeah, we're in a pretty precarious situation, but I do feel like I'm doing okay here. I don't... I'm curious to know whether I'm in or out of range of a Mimikyu play here. I am really curious about my situation with... Okay. Huh. This is interesting, but I have to click Will-O-Wisp here. Right? If this thing is Nasty Plot, then that would be... Yeah, it does go for the Dragon Dance, that's fine. That's fine, I think. Now what I really need to do here is Volt Switch into my Orb Beetle. And... From there... Oh my god, okay. Yeah, now I need now I need to double Will-O-Wisp. And, I don't know, this... I would be surprised if this thing is sub, but it could definitely be sub. It could definitely be sub. I think I have to click Volt Switch, though. Not clicking Volt Switch is potentially really bad. I'm going to go for the Volt Switch. Let's go for the Psychic Bangs. We take it and get the very free switch into War Beetle, although I did lose my chance to burn this thing again. Mm. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that even a little bit, but... This is my play. This is 100% my play, because... Now that my Ore Beetle's in here, this thing can go for Crunch on me, but... Um, I should be able to... Outboost this thing always with Iron Defense. Does withdraw, okay. That's super interesting. Goes out into the Mandibuzz. As I go for the Iron Defense. And, I don't know, assuming that this thing is... Physically defensive? Yeah, I'm doing nothing to, to this thing yet. Um, even if I boost up with, with, yeah, it's, it's never looking great. I'm going to, yeah, I think, I, I think my Rotom has done everything that it can do now. And what this is going to allow me to do is go into my Cinderace. The Cinderace is going to start threatening a lot of damage. Cinderace is going to start threatening a lot of damage here. And Cinderace... Cinderace is in a position where it very potentially can clean. But it is might be dubious. Goes for knockoff, that's fine. Uh, can we... No, we don't. Okay, that's fine. 
I thought no item max defense, maybe, but oh no, I oh no, I still did have an item. Okay, that's my fault. That's my fault, but I, I really don't feel great about how I misplayed my Dracovish because now my Dracovish is close to useless now. But being able to spam Pyro Ball, this is a banded. Mm, that is unfortunate. That's unfortunate. I guess now, man, if this comes anywhere close to, to knocking out, then ugh, a banded pyro ball would have, I'd get, I got a burn. Doesn't matter anymore. I think, oh, man, that's wild. I think I might have to play for like a flinch here. I'm gonna go for Iron Hand, try to go for a flinch, I guess. All I need is really one flinch and a power ball should pick it up. That's a crit. No, okay. I was in a position to win. Mm. I just need one flinch. I just need one flinch here. Okay. Okay. Maybe. Right? I, I believe all he has left is Mimikyu. Mimikyu, this thing, and Mew. All of which go down to a Pyroball plus rocks. Well, except the Mimikyu, obviously, for obvious reasons. But, yes. Okay, this thing goes down. Okay, okay, okay. Now the Mimikyu has to come in, right? I, I imagine. Because, um, Mew can't deal with me. I can't assume that Mew can't deal with me. I can U-turn. Actually, nothing stops me from winning with Iron Defense, right? With Iron Defense or Beetle? I think nothing stops that right now. Although, I don't know, I have to see. I, I have to play with, with the Mimikyu really, really well. We do see this thing. I will outspeed this. So I can U-turn just in case he just tries to go for damage. And... Um, I can honestly just go into, into Duraludon. Duraludon can, can almost definitely take a hit and then go for a Flash Cannon. Um, or, or at the very least, it forces him to attack me, which is going to be um, pretty crucial. And then from there, I don't think his Mew can ever really beat my Ore Beetles. Um, so, we can go on from there. And I want to play relatively quickly, just so I don't um, lose on any type of shenanigans here. But, if he does go for Shores Dance, it would be problematic, obviously. But, um, yeah, he, yeah, he could not afford to do... Okay, yeah, okay. So, I'm looking pretty solid right now. I don't think Mimikyu has enough damage output. To kind of deal with me right now. And then... And then from there... Or Beetle... Should win. Um, if he takes a turn to Dragon Dance, then... Then Duraludon, Flash Cannon, plus Burn Damage... Or no, he's not Burned anymore. But yeah. Um, this thing... If he takes a turn to Dragon Dance, then damage from Flash Cannon should um, do a lot here. And if and if he doesn't take a turn to Dragon Dance, then Ore Beetle comes in and potentially wins. And the fact that he's Earthquake, uh, yeah, I, I just go into Ore Beetle every time. So Dragon Dance, th his his last move would have to be Crunch in order to absolutely beat me. Um. But I think I, I I think I'm defensive enough where I can just click Bug Buzz, take one single hit, and then take this to victory. I think we can take this to a W. If Ore Beetle can just hit the Bug Buzz and KO, we KO. Okay, that's huge. 
that is absolutely huge. Um, we do end up picking up the win. We didn't go to timer, and uh, I'm just really excited. Uh, we spent a lot of time getting the land timer set up, and we just got so much stuff set up that getting this win and not going to timer and um, having a lot of my sets work out, not losing to Mew. That was my biggest priority, was not losing to the Mew. Uh, that was really huge for me. And every Mon contributed. I really like how my team inter interacted with his. Um, every Mon really did something that I needed it to do. Um, and the fact that we won despite that Pyro Ball miss that I think would have just KO'd that Mana Buzz outright, that it was really gratifying to me. Um, I did have to rely on one Iron Head flinch. That was a game that I was kind of in a position to win there. Um, ultimately, I like how I built, I like how I played, and uh, that's going to be it for week number two. We do go into next week 2-0, and and I think after week two, that's going to put us at 2-0 and with a neutral differential because uh, we won with a minus three and we won with a plus three. So I believe that's going to put us at neutral differential, but we are 2-0, and which is so huge to me. The first two weeks were absolutely the toughest part of my schedule, I think. Ultra Player and uh, Vepsis are monsters in the, in the community, and... I really, like I said, I, I just like how I built. I built this team on my own, and uh, I really just like how everything interacted with his team in general. But with that, that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we'll be back with week three next week, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, that will be against either either Tup, Johnny GB, or possibly Choice Bags. Um, one of those three. I think it might actually be Johnny GB now that I think about it. But um, with that, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. It's going to be once again out.